Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show a farm that helps submariners with their submarine progression. It's a nice little leather weekend farm that you can begin doing at level 50. You see, in order to build submarines, you'll need various crafting materials. So in this guide, I'll be showing you how to craft high Allegan Camaro leather. These sell very well. In fact, they are currently selling for 10,000 gil on my server. These are fairly simple to make, but people are lazy. And laziness is a great way to make some easy gil. In this video, I'll go over how to start this farm and some tricks to increase your overall profits. Be sure to stick around to the end and I'll go over a few more items worth crafting to sell for submarine construction. Okay, the first thing we'll need to do is unlock the recipe. The recipe is locked behind the Leatherworking Master Book 1. You can buy this book by heading to Mordona and talking in Talon. The Master Book requires a high quality hard hippogriff leather. These tend to sell on the market board for fairly cheap. In fact, I found one on Ultros for less than 400 gel. So after learning the master book, looking at the recipe, you can see we'll need three chemically treated chimera hides, nine animal fat, three black alamon, and one of each earth and wind clusters. Since we're in Mordona, I'll show you a great way to farm the clusters first. Mordona has a rare spawn that happens at 1, 5, and 9 a.m. and p.m. hours in time. Botany in the morning and mining at night. So, in other words, 1 a.m., 5 a.m., and 9 a.m. on a botanist, the noble spawn, and 1 p.m., 5 p.m., and 9 p.m. for the miner. So, you head over here, and the node will spawn with all the elemental clusters. We'll need earth and wind, so I'll split this rare node in half. To get the most out of this node, I start by clicking the giving land and then click the 12th bounty. This will give us a huge increase to the number of elemental clusters per swing. These rare nodes usually have six wings, so three for each. And this will give me more than enough clusters to make the items. The next item we'll be farming is black element. This requires a miner. I don't have a miner, so I quickly level mine up using the Gillionaire leveling guide. It took me about 90 minutes to get up to level 38, at which point I was able to start gathering the black element. So I gathered about a stack of these. Next, we'll need the chemically treated chimera hides. Unfortunately, these can only be gathered from submarine voyages. So if you don't have access to a submarine, you'll be needing to buy them off the market board. Fortunately, these sell for fairly low and you can easily pick them up for next to nothing. The last item we'll need is animal fat. You can buy animal fat from your grand company for 200 seals each. You can also buy them from the market board, but with require nine, this will dip into your overall profits considerably. With that being said, I'll show you a way to quickly farm seals if you aren't already swimming in them from sending your retainers out on hourly quick explorations. This farm is assuming you have a level 90 job. You'll be entering Alexander's Bird and a Father on normal mode with an unrestricted party. You'll loot all the chests and do this in groups of four in order to use all the components. It takes less than 90 seconds for me to clear the dungeon on my warrior and just over five minutes in total. I'll now turn in all the various items for as many pieces of gear as I can get. Each piece will reward me with 1,093 seals when I turn them into my grand company. So that's just under 17,000 seals for roughly five minutes of farming, which will get me about 84 animal fats or in other words, the ability to make nine high elegant chimera hides. Since I already had some seals, I just bought a full stack of 99. My leather worker is currently wearing the level 60 Namazu Beast Tribe gear, which boosts my stats more than enough to reach the recommended craftsmanship of 539. I'm not an expert craftsman, but let's see if I can make it high quality with my layman skills. So I start with muscle memory and I'll follow that up with waste knot. And I just keep hitting all the lit up skills to increase my quality. Bing, bing, bing. Bing. All right, once I've reached 100%, I just finish it with basic synths. Easy high quality. <laughs> this item is also able to be quick synth, but unless you have a high level leather worker, I'd recommend doing it the long way because the high quality versions will sell better. So in the future, I'll just do it the long way. That's it. I usually sell about 10 of these at a time and make about 100,000 gil for next to no effort. As I promised, here's a few other items you may want to start making and selling to help your fellow submariners create their subs. We'll look at dark chestnut lumber that sells for around 1,000 each and only requires five chestnut logs. 
A botanist can easily farm these up. It doesn't even require a rare time node. Same goes for birch lumber that sells for 750 gil each, and also only requires its logs and can always be gathered without a rare node. And then there's varnish that sells for 1500 each, just requires some easy materials gathered on a botanist and a miner and sells very well. I can't show the rare amber location because it's a level 44 node in Eastern Thailand, and my miner is only level 38. It won't light up until I'm level 39. These are just three additional items that you can farm and they don't require any master books. They're just some simple, easy ways to make gill helping other people that can't be bothered farming the items of themselves. As you can see, there are many more items listed here that you can farm. And as always, I'll add links to all the websites featured in this video in the description. So I hope you enjoyed today's look and a few more easy farms to help fill your gill reserves. Consider liking the video and subscribing to see more videos like this in the future. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.